So we've coded the main logic for the collection game info class and now we want to link that to the statue power up class so that we can figure out when a statue is actually collected in game. So what I'm going to do is switch back over to the statue power up class and let's just scroll down to our touch event here where the statue becomes deactivated. We know that at this point what has happened is that the player has come into contact with the statue power up and has collected it. And this is the point where we want to update our statue counter. In effect, this is the point when we want to run the statue collected function in the collection game info class. So let's just jump back to the power up class and there is a way that we can call that function. And as a matter of fact, there is a way we can call any function of the game info class from any actor. So let's have a look at how to do that. So we enter the deactivated state, we play a sound sample, and beneath that what I'm going to do is update the collection counter. Now to do that, we can use the world info class, which is globally accessible to all actor classes. So we have world info dot game and what this variable world info dot game, what this member of the world info does is it provides us with access to our game info class to all of its members, to all of its methods and all of its variables. Now we need to do some extra work with this, but this is the variable that we need to access. First, what I need to do is to typecast this to the collection game info class. So we have our collection game info class here. I'm just going to highlight the name of that class, press Control C on the keyboard to copy it, switch back to the statue power up class. And I'm going to paste that into our source file here and put into brackets here the world info dot game. That will typecast the member world info dot game to the collection game info class that we have created. After that, I'm just going to call the statue collected function. So statue collected, open and closing parenthesis, end the statement there. And in that one statement, what we are able to do is to call the statue collected function of the collection game info class. If I wanted to call a completely different function, all I have to do is keep this statement the same until the period symbol and then after that symbol I can call any function that I want or access any member that I want. So what I'm doing with this highlighted code here, I'm accessing the world info game member variable, I'm typecasting it to the type of my game info class, in this case collection game info, and then I'm calling whatever member that I want. So in this statement here, we have called the statue collected function when our power up is collected. I'm going to press Control S on the keyboard. I'm going to compile this code and then jump back in the UDK editor to test it.